Conte third behind Guardiola and Klopp in managerial money list. Antonio Conte's sensational move to take over as Tottenham manager has been completed, with the Italian earning pounds 13 million a year in North London. Conte arrives with a sterling record, having recently won Serie A with Inter Milan and also leading Chelsea to Premier League glory. But how exactly does the Italian's pay packet rank among his peers in world football? Here, Sportsmail breaks down the top 10 managerial money list. He's got his work cut out trying to manage Neymar, Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi, but it's a problem most managers would gladly be paid just shy of £6 million to try to solve. Pochettino has carved out an 8-point lead at the summit of the League One standings, and they also hold a 1-point lead at the top of Group A in the Champions League. There have been murmurings that PSG's day-to-day -day running behind the scenes is a source of frustration to Pochettino, who knows the Champions League glory is the ultimate aim at the French club. If he doesn't land glory there this season, it wouldn't be a surprise to see his current terms ripped up. The 34-year-old only took over at Germany's biggest club in the summer, but such as his pedigree in the game, Bayern were prepared to splash out handsomely to get him in at the club. And so far, so good from the man who arrived in Munich from Red Bull Leipzig. They lead the standings in the Bundesliga by a point over Borussia Dortmund and lead Groupie in Europe's elite competition as well, where they were pitted against Barcelona, Benfica, and Dynamo Kiev. Nagelsmann signed a five-year deal upon arrival at Bayern. Another recent appointment, Jose Mourinho headed back to Serie A this summer after his Tottenham sacking. His reputation might be tarnished in England, but Mourinho enjoyed great success at Inter Milan, leading them to the treble in 2010. But things have been a little bit rockier at Roma. They sit fourth in Serie A on goal difference with a return to Champions League football a key aim for Mourinho's first season. But in their Europa Conference League campaign, they were thrashed 6-1 by Norwegian side Bodo Glimt, a serious humiliation for Mourinho, but one that will be forgotten if they are in the top four next May. Money well spent for Chelsea and Roman Abramovich, Thomas Tuchel has had a transformative impact at Stamford Bridge since replacing Frank Lampard. The peak of his achievements, of course, is last May's Champions League victory over Manchester City. But this season, Chelsea's squad looks to be the complete package and after 10 games, lead the Premier League table by three points over Liverpool. Tuchel penned a new deal in the summer on improved terms, but, considering what the managers he is currently beating are earning, he would be within his rights to ask for more money if he lands more silverware this year. Like Tuchel, Solskjaer signed new and improved terms this summer, but unlike his Chelsea counterpart, it wasn't after landing a major trophy. Solskjaer has been left fighting for his job after United were thrashed 5-0 by Liverpool on October 24 and the victory over Tottenham will only count for so much with more tricky games on the horizon. The Sun reported that should United cut the cord with Solskjaer, he'll get a year's payout of £7 meters as a severance package. The Juventus chief is having a tough time of it since making a dramatic comeback in Turin. Identified as the man to galvanize the club after a season of drift under Andrea Perlo, Juve are down in ninth and have lost their last two Serie A matches. Allegri returned with Cristiano Ronaldo on the way out and whatever impact he had on the overall team cohesion, losing a goal threat of that magnitude is a hard start. He signed a four-year deal to head back to Juve in the summer, but if he takes many more blows, he might not be there much longer. The most successful manager in the club's history, Diego Simeon earns a hefty wage in the Spanish capital, but has done an extraordinary job of ensuring the club are punching above its weight. Atletico are the current La Liga title holders, the second league title Simeon has won with Atletico. They are also two-time Europa League winners as well as having a Copa del Rey title, two Super Cups and two Champions League runner-up places to their name under their current manager. This season hasn't been as successful just yet, Atletico are fourth in La Liga albeit just three points and a game in hand behind leaders Sociedad. And with Simeon at the helm, Atletico are always contenders for every competition they compete in. A serious appointment from Tottenham after axing Nuno Espirito Santo. Conte arrives at Spurs with serious pedigree, a proven winning record and a man who can galvanize the club on and off the pitch. Conte rejected Tottenham's advances in the summer, explaining it was too soon after leaving his previous post as Inter Milan boss. I can't wait to start working to convey to the team and the fans the passion, mentality, and determination that have always distinguished me, as a player, and as a coach, Conte said as the ink was drying on his mega-money contract. Last summer our union did not happen, because the end of my relationship with Inter 
was still too recent and emotionally too involved with the end of the season, so I felt that it wasn't yet the right time to return to coaching. The Reds' boss has been an unprecedented success on Merseyside and is every inch the perfect fit as the manager of Liverpool. Having taken over in 2015, Klopp's current £16 million a year deal expires in 2024. So far at Anfield, he has ended their 30-year wait for the Premier League trophy and also led Liverpool to the Champions League in 2019. And his side have made a solid start so far this season, they are second on 22 points and lead their Champions League group, which also features Atletico and Simeon. Unsurprisingly, it is City boss Guardiola who has the biggest pay packet in football. In his five years on the blue half of Manchester, Guardiola is a three-time Premier League winner, four-time League Cup winner, and has an FA Cup trophy too. But they are yet to win the Champions League, like PSG, it is the ultimate aim for City. Guardiola lost his 200th game as City boss at the weekend 2-0 against Crystal Palace and admitted beforehand he doesn't think he will oversee another 200 as the City manager. But whenever he does depart City, the void will be an almighty one to fill.